Learn from God to enlighten your soul. This is your daily devotional reading. Our Father cares, January 24th, reconciled to God by Christ's death. For if, when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of His Son, much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by His life. Romans 5 verse 10 The cross is invested with a power that language cannot express. Christ's sacrifice in behalf of the human race puts to shame our meager efforts and methods to meet and uplift humanity to help sinful men and women to find Jesus. The work of the sons and daughters of God must be of a different character than has yet been manifested by a large number. If they love Jesus, they will have enlarged ideas of the love that has been expressed for fallen men, which required the provision of so expensive an offering to save the human race. Our Savior asks the cooperation of every son and daughter of Adam who has become a son or daughter of God. Our Savior declares that He brought from heaven as a donation eternal life. He was to be lifted up upon the cross of Calvary to draw all men unto him. How then shall we treat the purchased inheritance of Christ? Tenderness, appreciation, kindness, sympathy, and love should be shown to them. Then we may work to help and bless one another. In this work, we have more than human brotherhood. We have the exalted companionship of heavenly angels. They cooperate with us in the work of enlightening high and low. Having engaged in the work, the amazing work of our redemption, Christ determined in counsel with his Father to spare nothing however costly, to withhold nothing, however highly it might be estimated, that would rescue the poor sinner. He would give all heaven to this work of salvation, of restoring the moral image of God in men. To be a child of God is to be one with Christ in God, and to put forth our hands in earnest, self-sacrificing love to strengthen and bless the souls that are perishing in their sins. Our Father cares, January 24th.